Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I want to cover the topic if Battlefield should go back to premium or instead should continue being a live service game. I know a lot of YouTubers recently made videos about the topic so I thought why not also make a video and give my opinion on the topic. So before we will hear my opinion, I first want to go over the pros and cons of each service so that we can have like a mental list to know what are the benefits and what would be the disadvantages of each service. Now let's start with premium. Of course I think the biggest thing premium has is that it's guaranteed content. Once a company sells you a premium service where they say if you pay x amount of money we will deliver you this amount of content they are forced to make this content and can't just stop developing for the game when the game doesn't make enough money to make it worth continuing continue developing so you pay and you will definitely get the content now another benefit is that the content when you actually need to pay for it is usually better but i say usually because yes back in the day the dlcs we got with like battlefield 3 4 or even battlefield 1 were of really high quality but just because they were of really high quality back in the day doesn't mean the dice today would actually put in the same effort in their premium service if they were to offer one now as for the negatives of premium first of all and probably the most obvious it splits the player base into two premium splits the player base into those that own dlc or premium and those that doesn't and this can lead to having maybe empty dlc servers since if not everybody buys the dlc the player base that actually buys the dlc might be too small to actually fill up all the servers that offer dlc content meaning people might actually have a worse experience if they buy the dlc since the content they paid for they can't play or at least not play with full lobbies and it would also split the player base in terms of guns if they lock guns behind the dlc some people might use the dlc guns and if the dlc guns are op then the DLC DLC would basically be pay to win making the game undesirable for a lot of people. So another thing is obviously it costs money and believe it or not but not everybody can pay 15 bucks for a DLC or like 60 for the whole premium pass but these days it would probably be more back in the day it was 15 per DLC and 60 for premium I think. So especially with how the cost of living has risen and how high the inflation is the only people that probably can even afford the dlc or would be down to afford dlc would be youtubers for the content and people that have a very high paying job but i would argue most of the people that play video games don't really want to spend 15 bucks every month to get a dlc since a lot of people can only buy a few games per year and if they would need to spend like 15 bucks uh, every three months on a dlc for a better fee this would basically ramp up to 60 bucks a year and this is usually one new game and so those people have to ask themselves do i really want to buy dlc for battlefield depending on how much they play or do they rather save these 60 bucks and invest it in another game that might give them 100 or 200 hours of content you know another thing to keep in mind would be the season pass or rather the battle pass that is now basically standard in every game how would they treat a battle pass in a game would they say oh the battle pass is for everyone everybody can buy it for like 10 bucks and those that buy the dlc for 15 also get the battle pass for free or would they say everyone can buy the battle pass for 10 bucks but the dlc you need to buy for 15 so people that want the dlc and the battle pass would now spend 25 dollars to get those contents while those that won't just only spend like 10 bucks on the season pass how would they handle this but that's basically my pros and negatives for the premium service now let's go over to the free live service the pros obviously no splitting of the player base everybody gets the same content at the same time and everybody can play the same things in your game the next big pro is obviously the content is free you don't have to do anything for it you just have to update your game and boom you have access to everything everybody else does without spending a penny and of course you usually get a battle pass you can pay money for or grind for free and you usually get new skins obviously most of the good content in a battle pass is paid but since it's usually that if you play through a battle pass once the next one is basically free since you get enough money in the battle pass to buy the next one if you pay 10 bucks and you usually play the game every season enough to go through it you basically pay 10 bucks for like four or five six battle passes depending on how many the game implements before a new title comes out now as for the negatives of free life service 
the developer doesn't need to give you any great content. I mean, we could probably see it with 2042, but they said it's a live service game. And what did we get? One map per season. Wow, that's not really a lot with like three guns. So yet, since they are not forced to deliver anything, since you didn't go into agreement and said, hey, you, you have my 15 bucks, but I want four maps. And they just say, hey, we provide you content. You either like it or you don't. The content usually is on the lower side in terms of how good it is. Another negative of live service is that usually they can stop making content whenever they want. They don't have to guarantee you anything, meaning that if the game isn't profitable, it can even be that the game gets just shut down and no longer developed after one or two seasons. And I think there were a lot of free to play games out there that had the same problem where the game wasn't making enough money. So they just said, now nah, you know what guys, no more content for you since they didn't promise anything. And also something that is a negative, but I also said it's a negative with premium is that it's very likely that new guns are so P that people either need to grind a lot to get them or pay a lot of money to you know access those guns earlier than the rest and have an, and have an advantage over other players. Now these are the pros and cons of both premium and live service and before I tell you my opinion on those things and what I would like and what EA will probably do. First of all I want to give you some arguments I heard online of people saying oh why don't they do this so we can have a mix between premium and live service. So the first thing I heard was how about premium is more like early access where people get access to new maps and guns for like three weeks to a month and afterwards everyone gets the content for free. My problem with this suggestion is that why would I pay money to have one month early access if after one month everybody gets the same content. I mean of course as a YouTuber it makes sense because you can make content out of it and even if you really like the game a lot or you're a diehard Battlefield fan this would also make sense but I think for like 80 to 90 percent of the player base they would look at this and say why would I pay 15 bucks just to exit the same content when I can just hop on another game for a month and then come back and have the content for free. And also another thing would probably be since the DLC let's just say is 15 bucks so 60 a year why would I spend 60 euros to access all the stuff one month earlier every season just so that at the end of the year I have the same content as somebody that didn't spend those 60 bucks and this guy for the same money I spent can either buy a new game or some cool cosmetics in the game. So I don't really think this makes sense from a monetary standpoint. Of course as a YouTuber or a diehard fan this is different but for like 90% of the player base I think this would just make no sense. And the second take I heard on it was to make the maps free but lock everything else behind premium. And I think that's just a stupid idea. Of course if the maps are free you don't split the player base but if you lock everything else this would basically mean guns and cosmetics. Cosmetics I think not a lot of people would care about but guns. If you lock guns behind premium you will probably have the situation where either the guns are so broken so people will be forced to pay for the DLC so they can actually compete in the game and not get buddied every time they go online or if they don't make the guns OP they will be balanced then there's also no reason to buy the DLC since if the gun is performing the same as all the other guns that are in the base game why would I spend 15 bucks just to have a new gun that does the same thing like the rest this isn't really interesting you know so I personally think making maps free and locking the guns behind premium is a lose-lose situation either the guns are OP then everybody will probably hate a new and quit the game or the guns are balanced then I don't think a lot of people see reason to spend money to play guns that perform the same way as the other guns that are already in the game. Now as for my opinion what EA will probably do of course it's a new live service. EA will simply do a live service since they don't have to support the game long enough and can just drop the game anytime and also they don't need to invest a lot of resources if it's not worth it. With a live service they can just say hey not a lot of people play our game we don't make a lot of money so reduce the time and money spent on new content so we don't make too much of a loss and also they don't need to deliver anything like they didn't promise anything and I will guarantee you that if they didn't sell the premium benefit edition where you could buy basically all season passes from season 1 to 4 they would probably have dropped the game after launch instantly if they didn't need to like provide some content since they sold it to you. And in my personal opinion I also think these days live service makes so much more sense than premium since yes the quality might be lower but not only does it keep the player base together but I also think what you have to keep in mind that most of your player base is casual and most casuals don't grind one game for three months. Like if you do Battlefield as a YouTuber, Battlefield is probably the only game you play or one of the only games you play or if you're a diehard Battlefield fan but streamers, YouTubers, 
diehard fans, pro players in quotation marks, since Battlefield doesn't really have a big pro scene like other games, those are just a very small percentage of the player base. And for most casuals, they don't stick around for three months continuously. Most people will see a new season comes out, hop on the game, enjoy it for like a month or maybe a month and a half, and then most people will go and play other games because there are other seasons in other games that people also want to experience. So, and if you pay lock the experience these days, people will just say, why would I spend 15 bucks on a game like Battlefield when I already spent 60 bucks to acquire the game in the first place when I can just hop on Fortnite for example that's free and that is giving out free content every few weeks and months or why not hop on Overwatch they also give out a free season every three months and so on and so forth even Warzone like I don't think in the current market premium would survive and I would actually think if EA or DICE would say the next Battlefield has premium they would basically kill most of their casual player base before the game is even out but that's just my opinion of course i would like to hear from you now in the comments do you think battlefield should go back to a premium service and if so why should they do it or are you fine with live service even if the quality of the service is a bit lower than what we are used to back in the day from premium anyways if you made it this far in the video consider leaving a like and subscribing for future battlefield content since you seem to obviously enjoy the content thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one